Hey everyone, this is Jane from Plain Jane Makeup, November Empties. I know I'm calling this video my November Empties, but some of these products I finished way before November, and some of them I actually did finish in November. So I thought I'd put that all together and put that in one video so that I actually had a lot of products to show you guys instead of showing you guys like one or two products. And so let's dig in. I didn't realize, but everything in my empties bag is actually really gunky, so I hope you guys don't mind that things are getting really real. <laughs> the first item I have is a hair product, and this is the Wen Pomegranate Cleansing Conditioner, and it came in this really big bottle with a pump, which was really nice. The only thing is that it's really hard to get the remaining product that's on the bottom of the bottle, and since it is a pump top, it's kind of hard to have it like this in the shower because it doesn't really stand that well. Um, and plus, the amount of product that's in here, it's not enough to cleanse my cleanse and condition my whole head. So um, I just decided not to finish it. I have maybe about like half a use left, but I really did like this. I've gone through, I think, two big bottles like this, and I liked it. However, I don't feel like it cleanses my hair as well as I want it to. Sometimes I still feel there's a lot of builds up in my hair. But other than that, I really do like it. The next product I have is a product that I've mentioned before, I think in one of my first empties videos, but I never really talked about it because I was a little shy, and I still am a little shy to talk about it, but it's the Summer's Eve Simply Sensitive Cleansing Wash for Sensitive Skin, and for those of you who don't know, this is just a pH balance wash for your private areas for the ladies, and um, I really do like it a lot. It's dermatologist and gynecologist tested, so I feel like it's safe enough for me. I know that using regular soap is not good for your body down there because it could dry out or mess up the pH balance, so I want to use a soap that's gentle enough for my gentle parts. <laughs> and the next item I have is a toothpaste by Costco Kirkland, and this is the Fluoride Toothpaste Pro Complete Plus Whitening. And I'm actually not too crazy about this toothpaste. I actually have another tube of it because Costco sells everything in multiples. I mean, it's alright, but it's not my favorite, but it does its job. So I found out what's making everything so gunky and grimy in my bag, and it's the Maybelline Clean Express Makeup Remover, the Ultra Gentle. I was using this for my eye makeup. And I actually do like this one a lot, however, I just went back to using a cleansing oil for all over the face, but as far as eye makeup removers go, I actually do like this one a lot, and I think it's a really good size to have. It's not too big or too small, so I like this. When I finish hand creams, I feel like it's such an accomplishment, and I finally finished a hand cream, and this is the Crabtree and Evelyn Hand Therapy Collection Citron, or Citron Honey and Coriander. And I actually really like the packaging of this. It comes in this kind of like tin foil type of material. It's like metal. And I don't know, I feel like the design of it is really cute. I really enjoyed using this a lot. It wasn't greasy on my hands or anything. It has a really nice smell. And the smell lasts a really long time, which is kind of pleasant. And yeah, it's a really good product. I have Luscious Popcorn Lip Scrub, which sadly I was not able to finish at all because, get ready for this, it says that this expires or is best used by January 14th, which is, I don't know, like in two months, right? So I still have quite a bit of time with this. However, you guys, it is so dried up, I can't even apply that to my lips at all. I was thinking about maybe adding some Vaseline in there. I don't know, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. And next I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And this is just a clear brow gel that you apply to your eyebrows after you've done them, just to kind of keep them in place and groom them. I liked this product a lot, however, I feel like there are a lot of other products out there that are a lot more affordable than this, that do the same exact job. I just got this as a gift from the makeup show LA, and so that's why I kind of just went through it, and I really enjoyed it a lot. But I don't think I would be repurchasing this at its full price. Next I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Covet Waterproof Eyeliner in black, and I would actually repurchase this if I could find it. However, I cannot find this product anywhere on the internet, so if you guys know where I could get this, please let me know. I will list it down on the bottom so you guys could maybe help me look for it, because I actually really like this eyeliner a lot. It went on really smoothly and lasted me all day. 
Um, but I just can't find it anywhere. I looked on the Anastasia website, and I looked on Sephora.com, on Nordstrom. I wasn't able to find it, so please let me know where I can find it, because I really miss using this. The last product I have is a mascara, and this is the Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express Waterproof Mascara in... Ooh, I can't even see the color. I think it's in like black or black is black or black glam. One of those. It's black for sure, but um, I really like this mascara. I actually started using this because of my friend Christy, also known as Verbal Clouds, and also a bunch of other YouTube gurus who uh, raved about this product, and I actually really did like it a lot. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for my November empties. I know that it's been a really long time since I've made a video. I think it's been over two or three weeks, and it's only because I've been so stressed out with... Uh, classes and different exams that are going on right now that I've really been trying to get everything done one by one and prioritizing my stuff. So I hope you guys are super understanding of that and I hope you guys are having a lovely week. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you guys who are in America or those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving and I hope you guys have an awesome time with your family, eat lots of yummy turkey and give a lot of thanks. I also wanted to say that I am super thankful for each one of you that subscribe to me and support me and watch me and encourage me. I really appreciate it you guys and I'm so thankful for you guys this year. Also, since I do have a couple of days off this week, I'm going to try my best to film a makeup tutorial of some sort. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, please let me know down below. And any requests or whatever, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And please support by subscribing. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!